Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time we're going to do a follow-up to my previous posting on setting up a DHCP server because one of the things that you will need to do periodically is set up a DHCP reservation. This just simply makes it easier for those of you who haven't worked with this to automatically assign an address to a specific workstation based on the MAC address of the network card. That way you can get one up and running. You don't have to worry about changing some of the settings in that way only if you change the network card or do something that changes the MAC address do you have to worry about redoing it. So we'll start the process by going back into the configuration file dhcpd.conf and we'll use some some of the configuration that we did the first time so as as before we'll do a pound sign uh, and I'll just say Mac book pro reservation and I will do host and th this is just the the host name we're gonna put is just more for reference I'll put Mac book pro space and then our little friend the squiggle and then we'll come in here and do hardware ethernet and then what we do next and you can find if you're not sure how to find the mac address you can let your system come up under dhcp and then go look inside the log file or it's easy enough to, to find it in this case i already know what it is so we'll do a 58 colon b0 colon 35 colon fe uh, colon 87 colon d1 and as before semicolon and this is where using this command that we're going to type out here fixed dash address and I will give it an address outside of the DHCP range and then do close squiggle and then yes yes and then do sudo service isc DHCP conf no server excuse me and then do restart and if you're going to have any errors it would show up here so then we'll go back to in this case system preferences i know there's a way you can do it on a command line but this way we can see it and we have already it's already picked up on the S because I timed it just about right now what you may notice when the uh, you do go to the reservation your router uh, address may change I've noticed this a few times with the MacBook Pro and it actually gives you the router address of the DHCP server and then within a few seconds it actually shifts it back to showing it the of the address in the uh, configuration that you've got for the pool now this lends uh, to an interesting situation you see there's you see where the the router address actually is for the default gateway now it is entirely possible that when you set up a reservation you may want the system to go to an alternate address so what should be perfectly reasonable to do is specify an alternate address right here you'll move your squiggle down to another line and do an options router so you could point one to an alternate default gateway say you want it to go through a different proxy server you're doing a different process so that is entirely within the realm of possibility and by using the man uh, DHCP command you can find out all sorts of things you can do with this but this is a, a very valuable tool to know how to use with setting up a reservation and it gives you some options you can specify different dns servers there's all sorts of things you can do in this case that you may not need to do a whole lot but it's always handy to know that it's there i want to shoot out this video real quickly just so that you would see there was another way to do it because that last night's video uh, did start to run a little bit longer than i had hoped for but this is something that it's, it's worthwhile knowing how to do. 
thank you for your time in listening to this and for a little more information you'll see it on my website at www.ronnutter.com thank you for your time